okay guys so in the previous uh, video uh, we were uh, looking into how to connect IoT devices uh, to a wireless router or an access point and the main purpose and the main reason why we were doing this was to uh, give us a, a, a step ahead of how to con connect to a, a remote registration server okay a server a registration server that is located away from these devices so let's start uh, doing that how to co register to a remote uh, IOT server okay I will use the topology on the left and um, I'll try to take this one on this side no problem okay so registration server so the registration server IOT registration server will be just a normal server okay with the functionality of IT enabled okay before that I'll try to name this devices very very fast okay so we need to connect this server to this uh, wireless router okay so I just uh, choose a connection and we go for automatic uh, cable type okay just choose an automatic connect that one to connect this one okay so as you can see it is connected and you have to verify the interfaces so let me just see the interfaces um f f zero zero two zero 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 so zero zero basically on this side is uh, the internet as you can see uh the only two interfaces that are up are internet and lan okay all right so the next thing guys is to um configure ip address to uh to the server and the internet uh interface of this wireless router for example let's go to uh, the the server and to come to desktop and to come to ip so i'll give it ip address of that um sorry 192.168.1.10 okay and i copy that one 1.10 copy when i come here i give it dot one right okay so that's our default gateway and when i come on this side when i come on this side uh the internet interface the internet interface you can see the default gateway has already been 1.1 so what i'll do what i'll do for the internet i want to make it to have a dcp i want to make it to have a dcp uh, uh ip addressing type so i'll go to this server and configure dcp pool so i go to that server uh, services and you go to dcp and you enable dcp right and our default gateway should be uh, dot, that one dot one and let dna server to be our registration server okay and let's start ip address to be from 11 okay and we save good so it's pretty much simple just do the way i'm doing and you save when you click here we go back to the uh, wireless router then internet uh, internet interface come back to static and to dhcp so as you can see it has obtained ip address automatically from this dhcp server right so guys let's register this iot registration server just click on the server we want to enable IoT. Click on services, then come to IoT and enable. Right? Then after enabling uh, IoT, come to desktop. We go to web browser, okay? Now let's just load, let it load. Then under the URL, you type the IP address of the IoT registration server. We want to register it so I have a username and password then click go okay so you can see registration server login we are required to input username and password but we've not registered so let's register and let's say admin um 
admin and create so you can see uh, IoT registration server server devices there are no uh, devices listed here so we can go to this store and register this uh, register this store to this IoT registration server this uh, then you come to config and under the IoT server choose remote server okay the IP address of the remote server is that one and the username we just done admin uh, password is admin very simple and we connect um, let it connect uh, oh good so it's connected when you see refresh it has been connected so let's go to this device also and do the same uh, you go to remote server and that's IP address and this name is admin admin and we connect good it has connected go to this speaker go to uh, remote server uh, that's the IP address uh, username is admin password is admin then we connect and we close that one good and finally we connect this uh, humidifier remote server then that's the IP address admin um, admin we connect and we close so when you go under remote server you will see all the devices have been registered and you know we will not be using I mean for controlling we will be having a separate device let's say our our um, controller tablet here okay so let's go to our controller tablet we want to we want a mobile I mean a portable device so go to desktop and uh, choose IoT monitor or you can just uh, you can just uh, use web browser okay okay after web browser you just enter the IP address of that registration server and you hit enter and now uh, register I mean login admin uh, admin okay and you sign in so you see the devices are here and uh, you can lock the door uh, fun you can turn high you see everything is working uh, speaker uh, speaker's uh, signal is negative you modify you can turn it on also okay and you can log out um, close this one then you go to a team mo IOT monitor also IOT monitor uh, then under IOT monitor uh, you enter IP address of the registration server which was this one but username and password we set as admin admin and you log in so it's pretty much simple registration pretty uh, uh, server pretty much simple a remote registration IOT registration server and this is what we'll be using for our enterprise networking project so guys thank you so much I believe this video will help you know how to configure uh, a remote registration server for ITDOS. Thank you and see you again in the next